Hey everybody, welcome back to Wing Wednesdays. This is Tucker from MattKiteboarding.com. And I'm gonna come at you today with a quick uh, review on the new Ozone Wing Foiling Harness Line. This one's a bit different from what we've been using a lot, which is the F1 Harness Line. Uh, so I'm gonna walk you through some of the differences and why you might like this one, why you might like the other one, and uh, yeah, give you that info. All right, so this is the Ozone harness line for wing foiling. You'll notice this one, unlike some of the other options out there, doesn't have kind of that rubbery uh, coating over it, um, but it is kind of a bungee material. Um, so it, it stretches out a little bit. And, uh, you know, I would say it's most similar to kiteboarding D power lines, like the ones with a little bungee in them that hook on a cleat. Um, so on one side, you've got your loop that can, you know, make a loop and knot over a knot if you have that type of connection on your wing, or you can just kind of loop it through and pull tight on, you know, a handle, or if you have a loop through type of uh, connection on your wing. This also comes on the other side with an included pigtail. That pigtail is going to either loop through and then connect to a knot on the line, or it's going to uh, hook around a knot if you have a knot style connection on your wing and then hook around a knot on this. Now this wing uh, harness line is also adjustable. The F1 uses kind of a knot system to adjust. This one has a little bit more infinite uh, attachment points for that in that there aren't any um, what you do is you just tie a knot in this end where you want it, and that determines the length of the harness line. I would say the total length of this one is a little bit shorter. So if you have real long arms, I'm six foot three, this one's a little bit short. I have to be right at the end for most wings. If I'm using it um, with a wide attachment point, depending on where your attachment points are, I sometimes put an extra pigtail on just to make it a little bit longer. Um, but for most people, yeah, between you know the end and maybe a few inches up here, you know, maybe up to five, six inches up is gonna be kind of your, your zone where you want that knot. And you can kind of play with that and decide where you want it. Hook it up to your wing, kind of feel it out on the land. Don't really crank on that knot until you know where it's at because it'll be a little hard to get above, uh, disconnected. So sort of figure that out and then you can tighten it a little bit, but you really don't need to reef on it real bad. It's just looking to hitch it up and keep it from sliding down the rope and disconnecting, so. Yeah, I've been I've been testing this one a little while now. As you can say, uh, say uh, excuse me. As you can tell, it still looks practically new after you know probably 15 hours of use, uh, which is great. I think this is going to last a long time. As with a lot of D power ropes and stuff, if you're finding you're getting some extra wear on it, starting to get fuzzy, you can use some wax on that to help reduce the friction on it and increase life. But I wouldn't expect these to last quite as long as the the plastic coated ones, but. I mean, as you can tell, I've, I've put some good use on it and it, it looks practically brand new. So I think it's gonna last a long time. Obviously there's a lot of less stress on it, wing foiling as compared to kiteboarding D power lines. So I think it'll do quite well. Um, hard to say exactly how well, cause I've only had it for a few months, but um, yeah, I've been really excited about it. One benefit of this style of line versus the hard plastic line is that bungee material. So. When you're not using it, it, it sucks up kind of closer to the boom and gets more out of your way. When you're ready to hook in, you have to pull your wing a little closer to your body, but there's not as much guesswork in where that, where that harness line is as you're hooking in. Uh, sometimes when you're swinging those plastic ones, it can be easy to mistime it or get it kind of wrong, or if they're sort of twisted up funny, they can be difficult. Um, so I do find these maybe a little bit easier to get into. Um, reliably. You do have to pull a little closer. You can't just swing it up and hook in. Um, but you know where it is a little bit more. So I have had a little bit more success, I think, in finding the rope to the hook reliably every single time once I got used to that. Um, and I've been really excited about these. Um, really nothing bad to say about it. Should work for most wings out there, whether you have harness line attachment points or you're just hooking to handles. 
Um, as I said, if you have long arms and you're really spanning a wider distance, you might need an extra pigtail. So ask us about that if you need that when you're ordering. Um, but yeah, it's a great option. Another harness line in the market, another option. So really excited about that as I always ride a harness line. And uh, yeah, if you haven't given it a go yet, grab yourself one, get a harness on and go do it because it's really gonna extend the life of your sessions, keep your hands fresh, keep your arms fresh so you can ride longer, learn more tricks, and uh, don't fatigue as easily. So yeah, give it a shot. This has been Tucker with MattKiteboarding.com. And if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments section below. Go ahead and click into our website, order one of these things, and uh, we'll see you out there on the water. Thanks, see you next time.